is ready on root nodule. So now let's have a look. So root nodules are formed on the roots of leguminous plants like peas, beans, clover, soybeans, etc. They are small knob-like protuberances. Root nodules can vary in shape and size. They can be spherical, flat, finger-like or elongated. They form a symbiosis with nitrogen fixing bacteria like rhizobium which produces nitrogen compounds that help the plants to grow. Now here I have drawn a diagram of rhizobium. Then point number 5, nitrogen is one of the essential constituents of all living organisms as part of proteins, chlorophyll, nucleic acids and vitamins. Our atmosphere has 78% of nitrogen gas. But this cannot be taken directly by plants and animals. Certain bacteria like rhizobium in the root nodule of leguminous plants and blue-green algae present in the soil can fix nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert it into ammonia and nitrates. Now these nitrogen compounds are then assimilated into amino acids the building blocks of protein, nucleotides, vitamins, flavones and hormones. Point number 10, this can now be utilized by the plants for their metabolism, growth, reproduction and heredity. Animals feeding on the plants now get proteins and other nitrogen compounds. Thus, the leguminous plants and the rhizobium bacteria maintain a symbiotic relationship by providing the bacteria with protection and organic nutrients like carbon in return of a supply of nitrogen for plants growth. The number of root nodules per plant varies. For example, beans will have fewer than 100 nodules per plant, soybeans will have several hundred nodules per plant, peanuts may have 1000 or more nodules per plant. Now if the root nodule is white or grey in colour, it is young and it has not started nitrogen fixation yet. If it is pink or red, nitrogen fixation has been started and this colour is due to a pigment called as leg haemoglobin. If it is green in colour, it suggests no longer fixing nitrogen. At the time of pod fill, nodules on annual legumes generally lose their ability to fix nitrogen because the plant feeds the developing seed. In this way, the root nodule forms a part of nitrogen cycle which keeps the nitrogen in the atmosphere more or less constant. Now here I have also shown about the nodule formation like uh, this is the first step wherein the rhizobia attaches to the root hair. In the second step infection thread is formed through which the bacteria enter the root cells. Lastly bacteria changes into bacteroids. These packed root cells enlarges and forms the root nodule. So I have also included a nitrogen cycle in this project as we have seen it is a part of the nitrogen cycle like atmospheric nitrogen it is taken up by this uh, nodules nitrogen fixing bacteria fix the atmospheric nitrogen the bacteria in turn fix nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds and give it to the soil as compounds of nitrogen in the soil which is taken up by the plants the animals eat the plants when the animal die and their waste products these are also broken down by the microorganisms and releases compounds of nitrogen in the soil. Now atmospheric nitrogen is also fixed though in a small quantity by lightning. Now these compounds of nitrogen in the soil here the bacteria turns these into gaseous nitrogen and then we get the atmospheric nitrogen back. So this was about the root nodule. Do let me know in the comment box about the project. If you like the video, do give a thumbs up, do share the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such videos. Till then, this is Amrapali signing out. Happy learning root nodules and happy growing up with your loved ones.